Hey guys, today I'll be explaining how you can get your level featured in Geometry Dash. I'll be giving information and tips on how to create a feature worthy level and how to get it rated by RobTop. So, whether you are a new creator seeking your first rated level or an experienced creator looking to further improve, this video has got you covered. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing to understand is that not every level can get featured. Rubtop, the creator of the game, rates roughly 10 levels every day out of the millions in the recent tab, so this means that if you want to get a feature level, it has to stand above the others. Unfortunately, not every level can get rated, and only the very best will. Getting a feature level can be a challenge, but it is definitely not impossible. But what are the requirements for a level to be worthy of a feature? Well. Due to how open-ended GD's editor is, there aren't many strict requirements. The only set requirements are that the level must be at least long length, meaning over a minute long, that it was verified without hacks, that it does not contain stone decorations, and that it does not include anything that would be inappropriate for younger players. But these are more like rules to not break, instead of things that would actually make a level worthy of a feature. The main part of what makes a level feature worthy is how good it is. Pretty obvious, right? Fundamentally, this comes down to three main factors, gameplay, creativity and professionalism. First off, gameplay is key. Featured levels should be something that people are going to enjoy playing in the featured section. Your level should feel fair, being easy to see where to go and with no blind gameplay or impossible to predict transitions. But most importantly, it should be fun with a variety of gameplay mechanics to keep things interesting and clicks that match up with the beat and intensity of the song to make it feel satisfying. Moving on, let's discuss creativity. Imagine a world where every featured level looked identical. It would feel as if you were playing the same level on repeat, and you can probably guess that that wouldn't be very fun. That's why it's crucial to infuse a level with a fresh and exciting touch. All it really takes is just to use your imagination how about crafting a level that tells a captivating story, or building your decorations around a unique and attention-grabbing theme? Let your creativity run wild. Think beyond the ordinary. Sewers, trains, or even farms could make for interesting themes. Just be sure to steer clear of generic designs and tiresome themes like hell or city. Those have been done to death, making it especially hard to do in an original way. Lastly, professionalism. This is where your level gets its shine and polish. Show off your creating skills with intricate block designs and beautiful backgrounds. Use movements, pulses and effects to breathe life into your creation. And choose your colours carefully. Pick a colour scheme that's appealing to the eye and works well for the decorations you've chosen. But it is also important to steer clear of rookie mistakes such as big empty spaces, obvious copy pasting of decorations or clunky movements with incorrect easings. Don't settle for mediocrity, try to make something impressive. This one is probably the hardest to nail for new creators as it takes time and effort to learn what works well and what doesn't. The best way to handle this is to ask for feedback from more experienced creators to learn what mistakes you've made and how to improve. I remember that when I first started creating it took me a full year before I got a star rated level, so please don't be discouraged if your levels haven't got there just yet. Keep honing your skills and who knows? The next level you create just might be the one that catches Robtop's eye. Alright, now you've learned how to make a featured worthy level, let's discuss what you need to do to actually get it featured. It's time to talk about the level rating system. Robtop, the game's sole developer, is the only person who has the power to rate levels. If you check the awarded tab, you can see the most recent levels that he has rated. There are three types of ratings that he can give to each level. One, a star rate, which means the level will give you stars for beating it, and it awards the creator only one creator point. Two, a feature, which is the same as star rate, but with a yellow ring around the difficulty face, and means the level will appear in the feature tab, give the level more popularity and two creator points. And third, epic which is only given to the very best levels that go way beyond what is needed for a feature. This gives fire around the difficulty face, three creator points, and will also appear in the Hall of Fame section. But how does Robtop find all of these levels to rate from the thousands created each day? 
Well, to answer that, I need to explain the mod team. So on some player profiles, you may have noticed an M badge next to their name. This means that this player is a moderator and can send levels to Rooptop in game using a special send button. They can either send it for feature or star rate, with star sends being less likely to be checked by Rob. And if you are wondering, no, they can't send for epic just yet. Basically, the mods are just there to send the levels to Rob. Now, when you hear the word mod, you may think these are people who ban users and delete comments, but you'd be wrong. That is what elder mods are for. Elders are the same as regular mods, but with a red M badge and extra powers to keep the comments clean. However, they don't have any extra powers when it comes to sending levels. All levels sent by mods have the same priority regardless of who sent it. When a mod sends a level, it is sent to Robtop in a send list, which you can see in the magic tab. Robtop will pick levels at random from this list of rate. When Robtop chooses a level from this list, he gives it a rating of either star, feature or epic, and chooses its difficulty. So how do the mods decide what levels to send? Well, it's actually just down to their own judgement. Mods are picked for the role as they are people who already know lots about creating, are active in the community and know how to judge levels well. Each mod has their own opinions and preferences, so while some may send a level, others may not. However, it only takes one mod send for a level to get rated, so it is best to keep trying to get a send from many of them until one sends it. So if you want your level to get rated, you first need a mod to send it to Robtop. There are currently 78 mods, so there are a lot of people who can potentially send it. Some mods look for levels to send on their own, and others will take level requests from creators, usually on Discord, Twitch, or YouTube. Currently, I'm a mod, so if you want to request levels to me, I take level requests in my Discord server and on live streams for this YouTube channel. However, there is one more thing that complicates all of this. Demon levels use a different rating system. So for demons to get rated, a mod has to put them in a queue of other unrated demons in the secret mod chat, and mods will vote on whether the level should be rated or not. Therefore, the in-game mod send button is useless for demons, as they can only send it by putting it into this voting system. Robtop will rate the demons with the result of the voting. So, if you want to get a demon featured, you still have to send it to mods, but it is stricter as majority of mods have to vote that it is feature worthy for it to be featured. Although, the upside here is that there is no chance involved for demons as Rob rates all of them that pass the voting. It is also important to mention that there are a few other things that will reduce the rating a level gets, such as star rate instead of feature. If your level uses a song which is not on Newgrounds, it is likely to get a worse rating, since these songs aren't officially supported by the game, and mods have to judge based on the replacement Newgrounds song that it uses, which usually leads to unsynced gameplay. If your level is medium length, then it is still possible for it to get rated, but mods will judge it more harshly as it is shorter than the usual accepted length of long, at over one minute and it may be seen as unfinished or rushed as a result. If your level is too laggy for the majority of people playing the game, then it might receive a worse rating too, as it would be painful to complete on low-end devices, so try to avoid using way too many objects. So, to summarise this entire video, if you want to get a featured level, you have to make a level with good gameplay, creative ideas and well-executed decorations. Then, if it is not a demon, you request it to mods, until one of them sends it and pray that Robtop chooses it from the send list. Or if it is a demon, you request it to mods until one of them puts it in the demon system, then pray that it gets voted to being a rated level. And finally, thank you all for watching, and I wish you all the best of luck with getting a featured level. Don't give up and keep refining your skills. And now, a special thanks to my channel members. I'm very grateful for your support and it helps me make more videos like this. Thank you to Wolfenstein, Alcatel, Billy's Alt, XOE Doxo, JRL, Horsehoof, Mega Dubstep XD, and SR3K.